it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be road tripping to High Point, North Carolina. And this is supposed to be the furniture capital of the U.S. or the home furnishing capital of the U.S. And it's supposed to have a ton of furniture. The thrift stores are supposed to be really good because they give away a lot of their, you know, stuff from their showrooms to the thrift stores when the seasons change and stuff like that. So we're going to kind of head up there and see if that is true. I actually found out about High Point from the YouTube channel Simply Home with Sherry. She has a really cute channel, so I will link that below if you guys want to check her out. But I figured it'd be fun to head up there, check out some thrift stores, some antique spots. The main motivation that I have for going there is there's this place called the French Farmer's Wife, and they're just like a little local antique spot. They only have a show a couple times a year, so they're not open year round or anything, and it's currently their show. So today is the second day, so I figured it'd be fun to go up there and kind of check them out. So obviously we're going to do a haul when we get back home of everything that I got, so it should be a fun day and a fun video. So yeah, let's get on up there and start shopping. All right, everyone, so we made it to our first stop and it is so cute. It's this little house. I don't know if you guys can see and they have a barn out back and it has some lights over there. So then that's kind of where they host their little, you know, event. So we're gonna go head in and see if we can find anything. So cute, look at this little barn. How cute is this, you guys? So immediately walking in, you can see that the ladies who put this on do such an amazing job styling it. And the barn itself was so gorgeous with lots of big windows and skylights. It was such a beautiful breezy fall day. And at one point I found myself just looking out the window, watching the leaves fall, which was just magical. And they even set out apple cider for the shoppers, which was just the sweetest touch and made this the perfect fall time activity. So I know on my channel, I'm a big fan of finding the deals and the bargains, but there are certain pieces and places I like to go where I'm willing to just invest a little bit more for those really unique, timeless and authentically aged pieces. And one of those pieces that I'm always on the hunt for are vintage breadboards. And to me, I feel like the more beat up the board is, the better. Displaying these on a backsplash or a wall in your kitchen really gives off that cozy, rustic, cottagey vibe, which I love. And I just think it's so fun how each piece tells a story. And I love looking for boards with super irregular shapes and lots of discoloration. These were some of the best looking boards I've ever come across, honestly. And I almost bought one, but they were just still a tad bit out of my price range. And I already had some, so I just couldn't justify buying more, but man, was I tempted. This was my favorite right here. It reminded me of a VeggieTales character. I don't know why. <laughs> but other pieces made out of aged wood really add that same cozy effect that the vintage breadboards do to your space. So I love that they had these mini stools. They had such gorgeous weathering on them and these always look super cute styled on a shelf. I actually have one myself. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for one of these because they were so pretty. I was also drawn to this super cute corner that was styled with all of these really pretty textures and layers and I fell in love with these stone bowls and I thought that they looked so cute with these little glass beads in them and they were only $28 and I thought that those would be really pretty and a fun material to just style on a stack of books or something. They also had a smaller stone bowl for only $42 which I didn't think was too bad and I thought it was so funny because they had this gorgeous olive tree here and I had seen it a million times on Amazon and I always wondered how it looked in person so it was kind of fun getting to see that they had a couple there just like for styling purposes with this they also were for sale. I like that one in the back that's in that pot, but they also had these really pretty olive stems. I just feel like 
olive stems really do just go with that rustic vibe that a lot of us are incorporating into our homes nowadays. And over here, we just have some more really pretty beads and more textures, sizes, and colors. And I love how they're just kind of casually draped over these gorgeous clay pots. I actually have some similar pots to these and I love mine so much. It's a really versatile piece and I move it around my home all the time. It used to just be on my kitchen island last month and now it is styled on a shelf. So definitely a really versatile piece and I love that rustic age found look that it brings to my space. So along with certain decor pieces that I typically search for, I always just have a fun time being surprised by some of the truly unique and unexpected items that you find by going antiquing. They definitely had a ton of fun, unique items here that I really enjoyed looking through. I thought this piece would look really cool, maybe in a bathroom to display some linens and seagrass baskets, just some practical storage that looks so pretty. It would be something truly unique and one of a kind that nobody else has. I also loved getting some visual styling ideas for Christmas time. I love that simple, understated look, and I feel like they really nailed that with the Christmas decor in here. So that was totally worth a drive. How cool is that? They do the show twice a year. So if you're ever in the High Point area, French Farmer's Wife, definitely, definitely come out because they had such cute, one-of-a-kind things. And it was crazy because the ladies were telling me that most of their stuff was sold the first day. So they say the first day, it's crazy. There's like lines, you know, up past the barn and um, the whole thing is packed and people come for like those one of a kind pieces. And a lot of those had been bought already, she said, which is crazy to me because I felt like I saw so many pretty things that felt so fully stocked to me. So now we are going to head over to, I don't know, I'm debating between the antique store that I've always wanted to go to. I think we'll just go and check that out first because I think they close first and then I will do some of the thrifting habitat for humanity restore stuff like that so let's head on over into high point which I believe is like 20 25 minutes from here I still have to maps it um, and then we will see what we see so let's head out okay so here we are at golden oldies antiques and they had this super cool retro ambulance out front and I asked about it and the guy said it actually came from New Hampshire but when I wandered inside I was truly shocked by just how much stock they had of each item. Each individual item was one of a kind, of course, but it was just kind of cool and also a little bit overwhelming just to see how many options there were to pick from. And as you guys can see here, this is me finding out that there were no price tags on anything. So I ended up having to just kind of eyeball the things that I wanted and then ask about the prices later on at the end when I got a hold of someone who worked there. So I'll kind of get into more of the pricing in the shop with me portion of this video. So yeah, I was really excited to find all of these stone risers. They all had such pretty aging on them and I think that they would be perfect for using to decide display dish soaps in the kitchen or a bathroom and they'd also be great just for placing underneath a vase for some added visual interest or just organizing some decor on a dresser or a coffee table or something like that.
Now, this place was honestly huge and I felt like I would just turn a corner and the store would just keep getting bigger. There was always some random hallway I didn't know was there and then I randomly found out that there was a whole second story. So it's really fun kind of just perusing through. I thought that these hanging pots were really cool. They might be pretty like hung near a shower or something just with some faux plants hanging out of them or maybe on a porch or something like that. They also had those same marble bowls that we saw at the French farmer's wife and I thought they'd be really fun to maybe stack on top of like a stack of books or something, maybe two or three at a time. I think that'd be really pretty. I've seen a lot of designers do that. And then I found this little, I don't know, desk thing. It was like the one thing that did have a price tag. So for this was $125. Not sure what you would use it for, but I also ran into a bunch of really cool stools. This one right here was my favorite. I love the shape of it and I love how it all has that kind of like chippy look these are great for tight spaces if you just need a little end table to a sofa it really complements especially lighter sofas i feel like these look really great next to that with like their aging and stuff or you could use it to prop up a plant something like that um, also they had a bunch of really pretty planters of course no price tag but i just figured if i had a large scale home with huge tall ceilings or maybe a big grand entrance that these would be show stopping pieces Obviously, they were way too big for anything for my kind of home, but I just can really appreciate how pretty they were. All right, so just finished up at Golden Oldies Antiques, and you guys, I feel like I got such cool finds for insane prices. Like I've never really seen anything that low of a price before. And I think I got really lucky on the pricing as you guys probably saw in the shop with me portion, there weren't set prices. So you kind of just have to ask and haggle. And I don't know, I feel like I got really lucky with some of the stuff. So I cannot wait to show you more of that in the haul portion of the video, but um, it's getting late here. So I think I'm just gonna try to see what they got at the thrift stores around this part of town. They're truly Really is just so much like home furnishings and home decor you know shops here it's crazy so it should be interesting to see what they have here so we're gonna do that and then head home and I'm gonna show you guys everything I got so let's go check out the thrift stores and see what they have so immediately upon walking in I could see that this particular thrift store was not so much a thrift store and more so a discount floor sample clearance center. The prices for the most part were not thrift store prices and you can tell that they were just very discounted designer pieces that were originally very expensive. I'd honestly never seen a thrift store like this before so it was definitely interesting and I will say that I did buy two things from here but I won't be showing them in the haul of this video but I will be doing a fun thrift flip with both of them in an upcoming thrift flip video so stay tuned for that. They actually had a bunch of the pleated empire lampshades that are now coming back around in style. I don't know, what do you guys think about this trend? I've seen it at the Studio McGee line at Target already. I don't know, I'm kind of indecisive about it. It's slowly growing on me, but then another part of me is like, no, I'm not putting that in my home. So what do you guys think? Am I the only one that's a little hesitant on this trend? I will say that the strength of this particular restore I felt like was lighting. There were lots of options for lampshades and chandeliers. It was very clear that there were pendants and chandeliers that were being used in the showrooms that they kind of just gave away. So that was kind of fun to look through there and just see what they had in terms of lighting. All right, so we're back home, it's the next day, and I lost daylight. It was an hour and a half drive from Charlotte to High Point. So um, we're gonna start with the items that I got at the French Farmer's Wife, and then we will talk about the Golden Oldies Antiques one. Okay, so first, I got this 
for $39. It's this really beautiful stone bowl and I've seen these online for a lot more expensive than $39. So um, Amber Interiors has them I believe for $75 which still isn't bad. These are really nice. You can use these for a lot of different things. You could use this in your kitchen as just like a little salt holder. If you cook with a lot of salt or whatever it's just right there and it looks super aesthetic. Um, very designer. I also think this would look really nice just as like a finishing decor element on top of a stack of books or something like that on a console table or a shelf or a coffee table. What I'm personally going to use this for is to hold my Palo Santo. So um, I ordered some online, sustainably sourced of course, because apparently it is really hard to get sustainably sourced Palo Santo, which is really sad, but um, I will link the one that I personally got below. So yeah, I'm just gonna use that as a little holder for when I burn it. The tip will just like stick out here. So um, I think that'll be a really nice aesthetic kind of way to display that and then very functional when I actually use it. So for $39, I thought that this was a really good deal. I've seen a lot of these on Etsy and stuff, so I will link Anything that I can find that's similar to this stuff, obviously it's all one of a kind, so it's gonna be really hard to find similar things. I know I get a lot of questions for you guys, like where can I buy antique stuff? And honestly, that is kind of the fun in you know shopping for antiques is that they are one of a kind and there's not just a stock readily available. So I know that's not as fun for you guys sometimes, but there are some antique sellers on Etsy. Just know you're probably gonna pay a little bit more for those than if you were to, you know, go find them in person, so. Okay, so the next thing I got was this really beautiful vintage wooden bowl. Now, they had a lot of these there, so many pretty ones with really gorgeous aging on them. That is personally what I look for, something with a little bit more, you know, age spots and that pretty, like, patina on the wood. This one I felt like looked really beautifully aged. You know, it's kind of got that, like, grayish look to it, which I really like, that faded wood. Um, lots of cracks here in the wood, which I really think is pretty. They had bigger ones, which I was so tempted. There was this one that was so beautiful. It was like a darker wood and it was a bigger bowl. It would have been really pretty for like a fruit bowl or just something to display, you know, vase filler on a coffee table or to hold your remotes or a vase or something. I almost got it. It was just such a huge price difference between those really big ones and then this size. So this guy was $29, which is really good. And I honestly like the size now that I'm kind of looking at it in my space because when you have really big bowls and stuff you know it obviously takes up a lot of room on your countertop or your coffee table and I don't know about you guys but for me when I have a really clear area on a countertop or a coffee table it just you know makes you feel like you can breathe easier so I like that this takes up a little bit less of a footprint and still can totally be used as a fruit bowl or you know something to hold remotes or a vase or whatever so I think for now I'm just actually going to put this on my kitchen island there's a little spot for it I had a bowl filled with like you know some fall vase filler and I think I'm just gonna pop that in here and it's just gonna look really pretty and vintage as a kind of statement piece on my kitchen island all right and then the last thing that I got at French farmers was I almost didn't get I was like you know what I did good on the pricing I kept it minimal and then I saw this and I was like dang it I gotta get that so it is this gorgeous stone bowl now I've seen a lot of these and this was honestly the prettiest one I've seen they had two there and this one in my personal opinion did just, it didn't compare to the other one they had i love the really pretty kind of h marks in the middle and i don't know if you guys can see but there's even little bits of blue paint which is so pretty i feel like so it's not enough to be obnoxious or weird it's just like little tiny specks so i thought that this was so pretty i love the size of it it was 89 dollars, which i know it's a lot but i don't know what do you guys think 89 dollars? is it worth it you could use this just on a shelf simple styling i feel like it's gorgeous by itself it's definitely a statement piece it has a really unique shape love the texture and material so that alone is just gorgeous but you could use this you know on a kitchen island to display some fruit you could even use this if you are an entertainer you could put some food out on here um, like a little appetizer or dessert or something you could use it as kind of like a tray decor on a you know kitchen countertop something like that to hold a cleaner a little tabletop olive tree 
whatever. There are so many uses for this and I know for 100% it's going to play peekaboo around my whole house. You know those items that you just like constantly move because they have so many versatile uses. So I kind of figured that this was worth it for 89 bucks. Okay, so moving on to things that I got at Golden Oldies Antiques. The first thing that I got was this really cool wooden bowl. Now, there's a story behind this and I feel like it kind of explains the pricing that I got on the rest of the items. Um, so you can kind of better understand how I feel like I was able to get such good prices. So I was kind of there perusing the store. So there weren't really a lot of people around to ask pricing because nothing in the store had a price tag on it. So um, finally I flagged this girl down and she's like, you know, I'm a photographer, but I'm here all the time. I pretty much know all the pricing and I'm kind of working here today because they're short staffed. And I was like, oh, okay. And I asked her the prices of a couple items and she told me some really good prices. And you know, I wasn't gonna get a lot of stuff because I'd already got stuff at French Farmer's Wife and spent a lot of money there. But then she told me these amazing prices and I was like, okay, well, I can't pass this stuff up. So I have a huge handful of stuff. I show up to the register. First of all, for this, she told me $42, which I thought was really good. And so then I get up to the register and the guy who actually works there was like, uh, yeah, that's gonna be $75. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that's a big difference and she's like oh shoot I told her 42 and he's like that works he was super duper chill and like really nice I highly recommend golden oldies antiques I can't really guarantee the pricing you're gonna get because it seemed to just kind of be luck of the draw honestly you, I just asked them a price and they wrote it down very informal so anyway I'm going to use it for just regular shelf styling decor I thought that the wood had a really pretty texture and some really pretty kind of aging on there so I figured that it would just really make a statement by itself it doesn't need anything else I feel like when you have really pretty found vintage pieces like this they honestly speak for themselves and you don't have to do too much to them you could probably put a plant in here like maybe a little air plant or something that would be really pretty it could also be really gorgeous in a bathroom just to kind of emit that spa like organic feel especially with the air plant in it I think that would be cool um, um, but you know, I'm just gonna use it on a shelf. I recently bought these Loring shelves from Target and you guys, they are so beautiful. We put them in our bedroom, just as kind of like a makeshift built-in because obviously that's a lot of work and a lot of money to put in built-ins. So I kind of wanted that look without paying the built-in price and they were $130 each, which is really great for how beautiful and high-end I think that they look. So I'm still working on styling them and slowly kind of acquiring pieces that I really like and that makes sense on the shelves. So I will do a shelf styling video with them but it, you know you guys know it takes time to really get it right so anyway this is gonna go on the shelves definitely because it's one of those pieces that I feel like takes up a lot of space has a really beautiful vintage vibe and is great to kind of stand alone by itself so all right so another thing that I found that I thought was so cool was this large skeleton key if you guys can see that I just thought it had this really old story to tell what the exact story is I don't know but I don't know, I just think keys like this are so cool looking and the size of this made it perfect for just topping off on a stack of books or just, you know, accent decor. You could use this hanging somewhere or whatever, but I just thought it'd be really pretty just placed on a pile of books on our shelves that I'm working on styling. It was only $7, which I think is a great deal. You can't even find a lot of paperweights or, you know, accent decor for $7, let alone vintage decor. So I thought that that was a really good deal. Okay, so another thing I found was this gorgeous stack of books. They had this huge book section, which is, you know, piles of books like this which I thought were so pretty I love that really gorgeous like aged binding especially when they're neutral colors they just look really pretty stacked up on a shelf which is what I'm gonna use it for a surprise um, I actually had it on the shelves and I think I might swap it out to our console table right now just because it's fall and I feel like these are really you know pretty colors for autumn especially to warm up the feel of a space I think that these are perfect 
so I'm gonna actually probably put these out on our console table. I got a little um, chiseled head that I found at another antique store, so I think that'll look so pretty just placed out there. So these were $10 each, so 30 bucks for all three, and she was really cool. She was like, you know, it's supposed to be 10 bucks for the small ones, but just pick out whatever ones you want. Like I said, they were really, really relaxed the day that I went in there, so I think I just got super lucky, but I love these, and I think that they'll make a great addition to my shelves, my console tables, wherever. They'll probably, you know, play hippity hoppity around my house as well. So, okay. So the last two things, they are very similar. They're just different sizes. So, um, I got these really gorgeous stone risers. As you guys saw in the shop with me portion, they just had a huge table of these stacked up, which was like heaven to me. I probably spent like 15 to 20 minutes just standing there picking which one I wanted just because there were so many options. Uh, I was a little overwhelmed but in a good way. It was really fun. So I got this guy and it was $34 for this. You honestly kind of have to touch it to realize that it's not wood because it kind of is that same kind of tone which I think is cool but you don't have the rotting effects of wood so I could use this honestly in my kitchen to put my soaps and my dish soap out on and actually use it because you can use a white this off and it's super durable which I really like. I also feel like most surfaces in my home are wood so this is a great contrasting material to it because um, you know when you have wood on wood you definitely can do that but it's always nice to swap up materials so I got this big one for $34 I think it was $34. Yeah, the big one was 34 and the smaller one, this guy right here was 28. So I am actually going to use the small one in our guest bath. I currently have a wooden riser in there, but I just think, you know, with water and splashing and soap, this is gonna be a little bit more durable. So I'm gonna put that in there, put some soaps in there, just make it really feel spa-like. I feel like stone is a very spa-like material. It's very classic, it's kind of cool, it's very zen. And then this big one down here, I don't have the strength to hold both, they're super heavy, but I'm gonna put it out on my dresser in my bedroom and just style a couple of pretty decorative items on top and you know have that make a little statement. I just love risers, you guys know this if you follow my channel, Regularly, I think that they're just a great way to intentionally organize decor. All right, and that really concludes today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it was fun for you coming along. I really enjoy doing trips now because I feel like you guys come along with me, which is really fun. I don't feel like I'm alone. So definitely in the comments, let me know what your favorite item was. I'm kind of curious to know. Um, it's fun when you guys always comment your favorite item because I know I am drawn to certain things, but I'm curious what you guys are drawn to. So let me know. And and I really appreciate all of you guys watching. I honestly read through the comments and I'm like, you guys are so kind and supportive and I'm just so lucky to have you all in my community, seriously. So thank you guys again so much for watching and following along and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.